My name is Malin and in this video I want to talk about how to make mundane tasks enjoyable. In life we kind of have certain kind of duties that we have to do. You know, it's nice to have a clean and tidy environment and take care of ourselves and our environment around us. Um, <laughs> and frankly, these things can kind of suck to do, you know, like, oh, I really don't want to do the dishes, you know, I've got to do the dishes, I've got to do some washing for tomorrow, I've got to fold my washing and, oh, I just don't want to do this right now, you know, I just want to watch another episode of The House of Dragons or there's a new My Hero Academia episode out, so I'm just going to watch that and then time just kind of whittles away and then all of a sudden you haven't got the things done that you wanted to. So these things kind of suck. So how can we make them easier to do? And we do know that we, or you might notice that you feel better for doing these things. You feel better when you have a cleaner environment, when you take care of yourself a bit more, when you eat a little bit healthier, when you just kind of keep clean and that sort of thing. And the main problem that we have with this is that Compared to watching a TV show, playing a video game, etc, etc, scrolling on social media, these things are quite daunting and they kind of suck, you know, it's like, well, I'm just going to sit there scrubbing dishes or I'm going to sit there folding my washing, like, what, that just sucks, why would I do that? And so something that I found very beneficial to building a habit of doing these things and making it more sustainable in my life is to try and make it enjoyable. And this is kind of something that you have to figure out a bit for yourself. But for me, I've found that just putting on music without words, just like backing tracks to like songs and uh, from movies and that sort of thing, you know, like the parts of the Caribbean ones and just other ones kind of like that. They're just like kind of upbeat and like kind of get you going and that make you feel a bit better for doing these kind of things. And it just makes the cleaning up. It makes everything so much easier. And I like having no words because I've tried listening to podcasts to try and make myself feel more productive and that like, oh, I'm learning and I'm doing the stuff that I want to. But it just got too much for my brain and I couldn't process the information and concentrate on doing the task. And also it wasn't very enjoyable for me, honestly. And also with words and songs, I can get very caught up in them. And I've had a negative kind of attachment to music in the past. So some of my music isn't the best for me to listen to quite often. And also I get quite distracted by the lyrics and that. So having no lyrics and just having the plain music is, is very nice because my thoughts can kind of run. I can think of ideas for videos like this one and I can just let my mind kind of wander and settle in and kind of go about the task, but also enjoying it a bit because I'm also having a bit of music, a bit of stimulation in the background. And another way is kind of doing the things, experiment with things that you kind of enjoy doing, like how do you like to fold your washing? How do you like it to look? And taking some satisfaction in doing that work and, you know, enjoying that kind of process of that. And this could also be applied not just to cleaning and that sort of thing, but to exercise and eating foods. Like what are the healthier foods that you like? And Maybe you could have a little bit of a treat or something on the side if you're able to do that without overindulging. And that could help make the food taste a little bit more better that you're cooking or preparing or whatever. So an example that I can think of for this is when I do kind of stir fries, I just really like at the moment stir frying a bunch of veggies up. Sometimes with meat, sometimes just the veggies and then having soba noodles or rice or something to have with it. And sometimes if it can taste kind of bland, if it's just kind of like the butter and frying up the veggies and that sort of thing. But sometimes I like to add a bit of spices to it and that can sound and help a little bit, you know, like paprika or turmeric and that sort of thing. But also some, now I sometimes put some, like a spoon of honey or something in it so it gives it a little bit of sweetness to it. But it's not so much that it's bad and it's not going to make me like overeat and even if I'm overeating, I'm overeating on vegetables and they will tell you when you feel full because they have a lot more fiber and stuff and they're a lot better for you. And that's just made me eat cleaner, a lot more healthier and easier. And another tip that I want to say is that do the tasks earlier in the day, especially if you're someone like me, I tend to have a lot more energy in the start of the day. And then as the day goes on, I kind of start to dip and dip and dip. So if I leave things till later in the day, I'm less likely to do them. 
and you know if I've spent most of the day you know kind of procrastinating on them and doing like watching too many tv shows or whatever that sort of thing just getting lost in that kind of consumption just doing those kind of things then I find it much harder to go back and then do the cleaning or do whatever the task that I need to do is and so doing it earlier doing it before you do the things you're like all right I can watch that tv show that I really want to watch I can eat I can eat that thing that I really want to eat but first I've got to eat you know something healthy first I've got to do the dishes first I've got to do the washing that I have to do first I have to do the vacuuming that I have to do and if you do these things first then you kind of feel a sense of satisfaction and there's not as much guilt when you go and do the thing that you enjoy doing and then you actually find that you enjoy having a cleaner environment and you enjoy doing these things a little bit more and if you do something like play a bit of music while you're doing it it can make it a little bit more fun and then you're more likely to continue doing it because at the end of the day we kind of follow the path of least resistance like electricity and if things are really hard to do there's a lot of resistance sometimes we can push ourselves through to do it but it takes quite a bit of energy and on a day-to-day -day basis you know we're going to be following that path that's easiest for us and we want to make that path as as healthy and as sustainable as we can so then our lives feel better more effortlessly rather than this kind of strain and this struggle which can feel very daunting and feel just very bad and negative and another thing point that i like to make is with cooking is that at the moment i live with my mum, and so if i want to cook or if i feel like i should be cooking then i'll tell my mum, all right do you want this for dinner and then she would just say yes and then all of a sudden i have an obligation to, to feed someone else i have an obligation to feed other people and if once i have that it's like oh well i'm not just cooking for me so i have to cook this meal and i have to try and make it taste nice and be a little bit more presentable and then it puts me in a position where i'm more likely to do that thing because there's a little bit of pressure external pressure pushing me to do to do that which can be beneficial and lastly i just want to point out that after you do this task, cherish and acknowledge the work that you've done. You know, just take a min minute, take a breath and just go, hey, I just did this thing and I haven't been doing it for a while. You know, I just vacuumed my room and I hadn't done that in a couple of weeks and it was getting kind of dirty and that sort of thing. And just kind of show some appreciation for yourself because it's very easy to be negative. You know, our minds will just go, oh, that wasn't enough. That wasn't good enough. That wasn't enjoyable. It felt so terrible. Why did I even do that? You know, like you should be doing more. You should be able to do more. Why are you doing this? Well, are you just going to go back to your watching your TV shows and just get lost in that? And this is your mind attacking you for doing something good, for doing something right, because it wants the easy and comfortable path and it doesn't want to do the cleaning up. But if you kind of don't let that control you and start to appreciate the things that you were doing and build more positive habits and more positive thoughts in yourself, then these things become better and you have less shame and guilt and you're not always beating yourself up for doing the bad kind of things, which I think is one of the biggest components around our behaviours and how we feel about ourselves and our identities and self-esteem. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.